The white-faced saki has the scientific name Pithica pithica. Saki monkeys are New World monkeys and inhabit the rainforests of northern Brazil, Venezuela, and the Guanas. Saki monkeys are wholly arboreal, spending most of their lives in the canopy and understory of tropical rainforests. They rarely come down to the ground. Their tails are non-prehensile, meaning that they cannot utilize it to grab hold of limbs. In this case, some are even non-existent or have been cut off by the aquarium. The Saki monkey has strong hind limbs that can be used to run on branches standing upright and that allow them to quickly leap to get from branch to branch. This ability has given the Saki monkey the nickname Flying Monkey. Here, you can see the unusual way that Saki monkeys grip onto branches. Instead of using their index and thumb like we do, Sockies grasp branches in between their index and middle finger, so as to have three fingers on one side and a finger and a thumb on the other. You can also see the Saki monkey utilizing their arboreal adaptations to leap great distances from branch to branch. Observed here is the very social nature of this species of monkey. Social behaviors include high-pitched chirping for communication and grooming to build strong social bonds. Saki monkeys tend to not do their chirping calls in captivity. This could be due to the lack of environmental pressures that cause them to make the calls in the wild, or it could be caused by the shy nature of the species. This is opposed to other species of monkey like the capitchens who are very curious and will even approach humans in the wild. Observe again as the Saki monkey uses its muscular hind limbs to leap far distances to reach other branches or trees. You can see a hint of playfulness as they chase each other through the trees. Sorry for the, the camera shot. As the Saki monkey runs down the tree, he approaches a lighter brown female Saki. This is an example of the sexual dimorphism in the species. Females have a white or pale red stripes coming off their eyes down to the corners of their mouth. The female is noticeably lighter of a brown in comparison to the male, and when she shakes, you can see her pale red underbelly. The male has a round white face, and in which the color extends to his forehead and his neck. As you can see from the video, there are many instances of pacing or what looks like repetitive movements and maybe even disinterested wandering. This can amount to boredom from being in captivity and a lack of stimulation. In the wild, natural factors such as change of scenery and the freedom to move around prevent boredom. Also, having to find their own resources to survive takes up most of their time. In the uppermost region of the tree, two male sockies can be seen fighting over a piece of fruit. This is because saki monkeys are frugivores. 90% of their diet consists of fruit alone. They tend to focus on unripe fruits and further supplement their diet with leaves, flowers, and insects. Watch as the two bicker over the piece of fruit. You might ask, why not just grab another piece of fruit? Well, Saki monkeys are also very territorial. Small signs of aggression can be observed when watching them feud over the fruit piece, such as body shaking and arched backs to make themselves look larger. In the wild, Saki monkeys defend their territory from other males or family groups. Just to the left of the Saki monkeys is a red-handed tamarind. You can see him using his prehensile tail for balance as he climbs down the branch. This is opposed to the Saki, whose tail just hangs from where he is sitting. We can see a small break in the boredom and their innately playful behavior as they quickly chase each other through the trees. 
So we notice how one Saki is missing a tail. This does not seem to affect his balance as he climbs through the trees. Kind of just hopping around through the branches. In the wild, body shaking as seen here is used as a sign of aggression. Here the Saki is simply grooming himself. And just some more general information about the white-faced Saki monkey's lifestyle. Their average lifespan in the wild is about 15 years. Their average lifespan in captivity has been reported to be up to 30 years. With new knowledge on how captive animals live and are treated, we are unsure if this is actually correct. Adult white-faced Sockies weigh about 4 to 5 pounds when fully grown. Their head and body length is approximately 12 to 16 inches and matches the length of the tail. Saki monkeys mate for life and live in monogamous pairs or family groups of 4 to 6 individuals with 1 to 2 mating pairs. Juveniles are independent at a young age, living with the mother until the next infant is born. Before the infant has the muscle control to move by itself, the mother carries the infant for three months and, it's, and is its primary caregiver. White-faced Sockies have one youth per year and have a breeding season that lasts throughout the year. As we mentioned before, the white-faced Socky has extremely strong back legs that they are able to jump bipedally from branch to branch. When the white-faced Saki takes off from a tree branch, it can do so in a vertical clinging position. When resting, the species must, also, must often cling vertically to a tree trunk. The white-faced Saki is prey to small cat species, tree-dwelling snakes, and birds of prey, which is a little surprising given the Saki's size. Sockies in the wild are threatened by habitat destruction, the bushmeat trade for their meat and tails, which could also explain why some Sockies in captivity are missing their tails. They are also threatened by people collecting them for the pet trade. Even with all of these threats, the white-faced Saki is listed as least concern on the IUCN list. As we saw earlier in the video, the white-faced Saki occupies the same ecological niche as the red-handed tamarind and are competing for the same resources. However, a very interesting fact is that they are using different behavioral strategies to do so. The red-handed tamarind also communicates through vocalizations, but when they feel threatened, instead of using a physical display of aggression, they use scent markers as threat displays. Also, we mentioned that the female white-faced Saki is the primary caregiver to the young. In the tamarind's case, the father is the parent that carries the young the majority of the time, the mother only carrying her young when it is necessary to nurse them.